Increased access to finance for small businesses, banks questioned about their opening of new bank accounts, and business recovery starting to look strong. All of this in the latest Business Finance Bulletin. As each week goes by and I speak to more and more business owners, one theme that's constantly coming out is an increased level of confidence. Yet business owners are feeling a lot more optimistic about the future. And it's not only business owners who are feeling more confident, it's also lenders. Over the last week or so, I've seen more lenders coming out saying that they want to support businesses with increased access to finance. So let's take a look at a couple of these examples. So first up, Bibby's Financial Services. Bibby's own invoice finance provider, and they've announced the creation of the Pandemic Recovery Fund. They've put aside £300 million to support small businesses. And this is on the back of a survey they've carried out where 66% of small business owners say that they anticipate business being back back to pre-COVID levels by September. Obviously, all of that increased business brings working capital needs, and that's where Bibby's Fund comes in. Next up, a Nucleus Commercial Finance. They've announced some tweaks to their business growth loan. Previously, you could have a loan for six months up to a maximum of £25,000. But obviously, they're more confident about the future. So they've now increased that loan term up to 12 months, and you can borrow up to a maximum of £50,000. Next up, Yorkshire Billing Society or YBS Commercial Mortgages. They've announced that for their semi-commercial mortgage range, they've now introduced a 10-year fixed rate, a 10-year deal. That's a real sign of confidence that they've got in the marketplace. And next up, a new lender to the market, Go Business Loans. Now, Go Business Loans, I'd say, just launched, and they're offering limited companies and LLPs loans from £2,500 up to a maximum of £20,000. You can apply online, and you'll get notification of a decision within 24 hours. So it's great to see a new lender coming into the marketplace. So well done there to the team at Go Business Loans. So overall, you can see it's not just business owners who are confident about the future. It's also lenders as well, which is a great signal and a great sign that perhaps better times are around the corner. Have you tried opening a business bank account over the last 12 months? Well, if you did, no doubt it was a highly frustrating experience. The high street banks in particular practically closed their doors to new customers. They just didn't have the resources and the manpower to cope with the volume of requests for new bank accounts, particularly so traders who were trading through a personal account, but realized they needed to have a fully fledged business account in order to qualify for a Siebel's or bounce back loans. So as a result, the whole system ground to a halt. Well, so bad has it been that last week, the Treasury Select Committee actually wrote to a number of the banks being uh, Barclays, uh, Lloyds, NatWest, Metro, uh, Santander, HSBC, asking them for comments on their account opening procedures. They wanted to know how long does it take to open an account? Have you had any complaints? How have you responded to those complaints? And um, also a killer question, do you intend staying in the small business market? Now, all these banks have to reply to the uh, Treasury Select Committee letter by the 19th of May. So it'll be interesting to see what their responses are. I guess the fact that they've even received the letter may wake up some of them to think, hey, we need to get back on track here and make it easy to open a business account. Obviously, the economy can't operate if people don't have bank accounts. So this is why the government is taking a very key interest on this. So it'll be interesting to see what the response is from the banks and more importantly, what action they're going to take to make it easier for businesses to open bank accounts. In the first segment of this bulletin, I highlighted that there's been a definite increase in the feeling of confidence amongst UK small businesses. And this has been borne out by the latest Lloyds Bank Recovery Tracker Review. Of the 14 sectors that the uh, tracker looks at, 11 of them have said they've seen an increase in business in March. And in fact, the growth rate has been the highest since September 2020. So we can see there is definitely an increase in levels of activity in the UK economy. The transport sector, particularly, which covers not only logistics, but airline, rail, and also the bus industry, has seen a significant jump in activity. And that's a really good positive sign that the UK economy is starting starting to move. So really good news. However, one thing I did cover in the previous bulletin that, of course, 
growth brings its own problems, and that is access to cash in order to fuel your working capital need. So with all of this growth going on, one thing I plead to make sure that you watch is your cash flow. If you need to have access to finance, of course, to make sure that you look at all the various options available to you, not just commercial loans, business loans, invoice finance, asset finance, and also the new recovery loan scheme as well. All of these are out there designed to support you as you start to grow again. If you want to chat through any of these finance options, of course, just drop us an email, info at businessloanservices.co.uk, and we'll happily chat through all the various options with you. So great to see that the UK economy is back on the growth path, but watch out for that need for cash. Well, that's it for another bulletin. As ever, I hope you enjoyed watching. And if you did, please don't forget to give it a like, a share, and of course, subscribe to this channel. So that's it. As ever, have a great, successful, and safe week. And I look